Welcome to my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty and StampinPretty.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, which means that if you go to my blog, you will get paper crafting tips and ideas every day. You'll be able to shop for Stampin' Up! products that I'm going to share with you today, um, as well as get the latest Stampin' Up! Uh, promotions and specials. Um, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a holiday bundle that goes above and beyond. Um, so I've used it in a number of different ways today. Uh, for starters, it's the Tags and Trimmings Stamp Set. And it coordinates with the Trim Your Stocking Thinlets Dies. And the two together uh, work beautifully. Um, and if you purchase them as a bundle, you save 10%. So that's a really cool thing. And I'm going to talk to you about what some of the stamps do and what some of the dies do because some of them were a mystery to me at first. But this is one of the end results. Um, it's a darling idea I actually got from my Stampin' Up! Stampin' Success magazine. And you can open it up and you can put in a treat, you can put in a small gift, you can put in a gift card, it's big enough for a gift card, because the back side and below here is a little pillow box. I just happened to add an additional back side to kind of finish the front and the back. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I thought it was a really kind of a cool little look and way to make it look like an overall package. Looks very finished and pretty to me that, with that way. So let's talk a little bit about tags and trimmings. Some great bold sentiments. This one would work year round, so would to and from. And then we've got a couple buttons. The beauty of the buttons is that these two round dies fit them perfectly and you can actually create your own little button in whatever color you want. This one I stamped in Old Olive and I put a touch of twine on there and um, it works beautifully. Um, so you have buttons galore. And then these um, holly dies are a little smaller than the actual stamp, um, but when you crop them, they look perfect. So they are designed to work together, the large and the small. The little tag die, which you can use for so many things, works with the two in the from. Um, and it also works to layer on this little stripe so that you can stamp crop it and you have that cute little pattern. This is a sweet little background that makes a polka dot pattern and there's also a snowflake pattern and there's even a tiny little holly berry and there's of course a die to work with that. So let's talk a little bit about some of the dies. I told you about the holly berry, or excuse me, the holly leaves. The berries you can crop with this sweet, I thought it was a little Lego, um, this sweet little berry cropper, it'll do eight at once. On this card, I cropped uh, the Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper, but you can certainly go more traditional and use red with green leaves. This is the stocking, and so I had to flip it and do the back side of the Designer Series paper to get the die for the back side. Okay, so I cropped this the other direction. And then what's amazing is that you can use these dies with a different color or pattern, and it gives this great little stitched edging. Okay, this is for the cuff that goes right here. And then the smaller one is for the heel, and then this one is for the toe. Isn't that just marvelous? And I was wondering what this was, and you can use that towards the top of the stocking um, and you can thread ribbon through it or you can uh, use it to put uh, ribbon from the back side through to the front um, and just have a little pop of uh, silky ribbon or tinsel or something fun. Uh, this is a snowflake that is uber versatile and we're gonna sh I'm gonna share with you on our card that we made today. This is almost like the cutest little pom-pom I, I made a sample for you to see, and it's curved perfectly so that it would fit right at the top here, or could actually fit down uh, below if I did a little bit different design. I think that would be a little too busy with what I have. And then a couple of my two favorites are the stitched heart and the stitched um, star. 
And then there's a little bell, which I think looks marvelous. Let me turn it the right direction for you. Consider doing that in silver, silver foil or copper. It would look amazing. And let me see what else. Oh, and there's some greens. There's a nice, fun, modern green uh, that I used. Um, and actually, there's one more that I left on my Big Shot that I will show you because I used it on a sample. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how to make a pillow box for, again, gift cards, small gifts, little treats using the, uh, the dies. So this first die, I use the um, Stampin' Up! Merry Little Christmas Designer Series paper. I love this great bold pattern. And then I just used cardstock, but I think it really shows off the stitching of these dies as well as that one. And there's that little heart that I love. You don't always have to put to and from. If it's someone you know and someone you love, a little heart says that much more. And then here's the, the, the um, snowflake. Uh, great details. And I love how it is in black. It gives it kind of a modern and fun look. And then this is just the top that will... Uh, we will we'll will be working with and then this is the pillow box die and I'm going to add that to the back side but I want to mention something when you create a pillow box you're going to crop two of these and then you're on the second one you're going to actually remove these two sides right now I've got adhesive here so you're going to have one complete like this and you're going to use adhesive the same way and then you're going to have one where you slice off these sides and you'll see in a second I'm going to show you actually now uh, there's a score line this is what I love about these dies they both cut and score but this is the piece that you're going to cut off for the second piece when you're just doing a pillow box I hope that makes sense for you and then we're going to fold this piece in again there's a score line I'm just carefully manipulating the paper so I can get it folded and get a nice clean crease. All right. And then I am going to actually start working this in. I like doing it now. You've got to kind of gently find that score line and it's curved. So you don't want to be too rough. Um, you just want to sort of gently work it in and then you'll have that piece. And the same thing on the other end. We're just going to work that in a little bit and this is going to be folded and this is going to go on the inside attaching to the inside of this to hold up the bottom so you can put a little something in it when you're again doing just the pillow box when you're putting two of these pieces together you only need one of these so you'll snip off both the sides as well as that piece and i'll show you a pillow box in just a second but i'm going to go ahead and show you how i how quick and easy this is I'm just going to do the sides first. I don't have the most perfect nails, but um, I think you've got the right idea. And I'm just taking a quick look and putting my glasses on. I need to line this up. And I used tear uh, our tear tape. And one of the things that I do, oops, I need to. Uh, Make sure I've got that lined up and then I'm going to, I do. Okay, so now I'm going to really burnish it. You can burnish it with your bone folder or your finger. I use these two spheres, okay, sort of this oval and this oval, and try to get them to point and look symmetrical. And then I just have to line this up. Then I don't have to worry about it being up too high or too low. And then that makes this side really easy because it's going to line up where it's supposed to going to fold it down. I keep trying to bring it closer to me because it's I'm doing this on an angle, but uh, hopefully I, I have it right for you guys. And I do. So that's there. And then on the bottom side, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to remove this little piece here. Okay. And then I'm going to tuck the piece that we started to round. I'm going to actually push this a little bit so that I can get this to go inside. I'm going to tuck that in. Okay. And now I'm going to actually push this piece in. See how that curves in really nicely? 
and then if I had a little more time I would go in actually I will for now I'm going to go in from the inside and just make sure I've got that little piece down with my bone folder then it's going to stay in place okay and then we're going to do the top and I put this piece down first because it's the last one that and it has a little notch so that people can grab and pull and then I'm going to put this one down on top because it has the adorable little pattern. So that's all there is to it, other than just having fun with decorating. I think it's just adorable. Just adorable. Um, this one I made to show you um, in part that pillow boxes are for year round. Um, I actually got this idea on Pinterest and I'm going to share more details on my blog about it soon. Um, right now it's the prototype what, uh, for what I'm going to put at every one of the place settings at Thanksgiving. I am thankful for you perfect. It's got fall colors. It's got some foliage that I tucked in. Um, but this is the little pillow box and so I'm going to tuck inside of each probably some um, Ghirardelli chocolates or something like that. I will come up with something, but I wanted you to see how this would work for fall. And again, I cropped this one two times and I removed this edge. I just used my Stampin' Trimmer. I lined it up and just went whoop. And this I trimmed on the second one. You leave it complete on the first and remove it on the second and you can remove this with your snips on the second and then it literally goes together much like we just did and just again so so adorable I can see these for Valentine's Day's little gifts for a host um, gift cards are obviously the rage so I hope you enjoy these as much as I do um, I can't wait to use them these guys as stocking stuffers uh, for my family. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on YouTube. I typically respond within 24 hours. Sometimes it's within a couple of minutes and I'm here to help you. Um, I couldn't find um, a video that really had some of the tips. Um, so I have gone through the um, engineering for you and um, hopefully I can save you um, some time and energy in knowing exactly how these how these guys go together so thank you for joining me for this little pillow box parade and stop by my blog stampinbirdie.com and uh, you'll get daily tips and inspiration thank you and bye bye